Here we go. Yes. That's the wrong button. Now here we go. <laughs> Just a sneak peek of maybe some other games we might play in the future. <laughs> well, not right now. Yeah! <clears throat> yes, so make your way to the castle entrance. Alright, so this way. Yes. Oh! Ow. Oh, those bats. <laughs> Ooh, because we lost that one when I died. That's true. So that's a good one to... Look, that luck is already working out, because I was thinking, oh, let me kill that. Maybe I'll get the shot. Yup. Yep, there it goes. Oh, that's right. I got to kill the bats, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Okie dokie. Run through the village. <laughs> Back where we have been. Double jump. Double jump. Yeah, look at that double jump. So where am I going? You're going to the bridge. Here? Yep. So go to the other side. You're basically going to pull the lever and ride the top of it up and then jump straight up. That was a health up. And magic up. That's it, just the two things? Yep. Word. Question is, what's the quickest way back now? Where am I? Uh, still the quickest way back yeah, is to Yeah, it's the... just going right back to... <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, unfortunately that waypoint's looped around in the castle. But look, now I'm at 620. Yeah. And my magic is at a whopping 298. Woo! Ready to yeah. kill some more demons at the top of the tower. Yeah, I'm hoping we get to see the yeah. the boss today. That you know, the dragon boss. Yeah. Yeah. It's like fuck you, bat. Yep. So since you already know about that one, yeah. it makes a certain aspect of this game more obvious. Yeah. What? As you've now seen three bosses from the last game. You've only fought two, but you've seen... Oh. Uh, Grimmery. Grimmery, yeah. I was, my yeah. brain was like, Jeebel? Yeah, Grimmery. <laughs> so, yeah. You basically fight all the bosses in one form or another. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. It, it makes me sad that Curse of the Curse of the Moon is apparently just like a different telling yeah um maybe they'll follow it up at some point because i mean the whole zengetsu in the future thing yeah what was that about um but it is cool to at least see the take of those monsters and bosses and stuff like in 3d yeah so i'd be very interested to see if they follow that one up and follow this one up yeah because the other one was so well-received. This has been well-received, too. But Curse of the Moon was very well-received. Yeah, because people just really oh. like that uh, old-school... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. So yeah, those are the shield outsiders you need. Alright. And now... Is this the elevator? Yep. Or it will be. Yeah. Map completion. Wait, what? All right, sure. Map completion. Woo! Easiest fast travel ever. Map completion. Yeah. Oh, can I get that chest now? I have a double jump. Just as is? Uh, no. No, because it's on the other tower. Yep. <laughs> I was like, that looks too high to be the one that... Well, no, because it was just a capacity thing that was below it. Yeah. And now you don't have to run along the side of the travel... the, uh, tower. Which makes me very happy. 
yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Though, clearly there is a little spot on the tower you missed. <laughs> mm. I've done it! Was small the creature I have summoned was sure the most nibbled. I thought I was clutching at straws when I tried using the crystal as a medium, but what power? Distressingly, my small demon nearly devastated the guild before I could destroy it. The thought of a whole army crossing over sends chills up my spine. The demon we vanquished produced a red crystal, and calling this a shard to differentiate it from the white crystal. But both are strange and fascinating. The crystal exhibits a kind of magnetic pull on the shard, suggesting it may be capable of binding with the shard's demonic power. But how do I make more of it? Oh, nope. Hey, but come. We had the perfect system. Like, come on. I, I, just lay down right here. Just pet him, pet him, pet him. Make him feel loved. Because he is loved, but... Yes, but every now and then he decides he has to... But it's to... that cat thing of, oh, they're petting me. Yeah. I guess I won't leave this spot for a while. I won't go and try to destroy everything just yet. Let's see what's down here. Ooh, a chest. Yeah. Come on. I feel like I don't want to get grind in these gears. <laughs> oh, there's something you don't want. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> oh. Well, at least it's not like Mega Man and that was an instant death. Yeah. It's a little more forgiving in that regard. Monster bird hair. Ooh, well, I just found. Yep, connecting path, I guess. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Come on, stop thinking about it. Ooh, new shard. Sit down and feel the love, damn you. Ooh, ooh, I think that's the one I was thinking of. Is it a good one? Was that the lightning one? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think that's what I use basically the rest of the game. Okay. Because it essentially, once you level it up, it's a very good chain lightning ability. So it'll blast one and then, like, arc off to other enemies and blast them. That's Osseus! Oh, wow, that is good. Yeah. <laughs> So, I switch back and forth between that and the arrow depending on certain enemies, but yeah, that one really comes in handy. Especially if you're surrounded by moving things. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> we already know how this is ending, Oliver. You're gonna loop around, jump up there, jump to the TV, and I'm gonna have to take you off. Sure, I'll take that. Yeah. It's a pretty good ability. I imagine more so once you level it up. Yeah. I'll... <gasps> wow! You're a dick. I was all excited I found a boss fight, and here you are. I know. Knocking shit down. Like, this is a very important boss, and you're, uh... So, is this the other tower, then? Yep. Well, I didn't go into the room upstairs. Like... Where am I at? So I literally came out here, so this door here leads to here. Yep. So that'll fill in this, I imagine, if I'm running downward. Yep. Is it going to connect me back up here? Because I, I didn't go through this. No, I think you have to go through that door. And then obviously you got the two black spots over there, and then that black spot down there. These two, these yep. three, yeah. Um, as well as these two black spots. Here. And yeah, on that side. Here, and then all this. But thankfully, I think on this tower, that black spot at the top... There is nothing there. Like, this one doesn't go as high as, uh... You'll get something that'll let you fill, uh... These things out. Because <laughs> you'll have to come back to this tower later on for something that lets you progress. Oh god, it's got arms! 
Yeah. So now you get to see that dragon fight in 3D. Alright, sure. Oh, hold up. Uh... Oh, yeah. Might be a good time for busting the familiar back out. And I'm honestly gonna go back to... Yeah, probably not a bad idea since it's leveled up. Oh, no! Oh! What's happening? They're moving. Oh god, they're running. Oh, this is really cool. Yeah, they did a really good job with this one. The model on this is really cool. Yeah, this was probably my favorite of their retelling of the bosses from the first game. Because the other one, they're just two heads, so you yeah. don't really get yeah. a full It's just them stretching idea. behind you, and so this one, to see them actually like, revolving around the tower, and... Oh god, what's happening? Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. Um. So, we're gonna go with the high potion. And honestly, let's uh, let's burn a couple ethers. Ow! Oh god. No, yeah. Oliver. <laughs> Not the time for this. This is hard! Yeah, it's... Why is the fire so crazy? Out of the way. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of movement in this boss. Oh god. Interesting, David. Yeah. I was... Die already! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, at least it wasn't that first ability again. <laughs> oh god, this is really hard. Oh. oh, there we go. Are they dead? Yep. So Lobos managed to glitch himself behind them, the way they basically couldn't hit him. <laughs> I mean, that's essentially almost what I just did. Yeah. Because I got underneath one of them. Expel flames in a designated direction. Uh-oh. Okay. I was going to say, please don't tell me it's uh, freezing and making you have to do all that again. Silver Brahma. Hey! Yeah. So I imagine going this way leads me back outside somewhere. Uh, it'll eventually just go to a dead end. Okay, cool. Because I wanted to fill out the map. Yeah. Yep. So just a very basic dead end. So I wasn't expecting... I was expecting them to maybe do the one-sided top-down that they did in the other game. Yeah. But that was cool. It was essentially just a two-dragon fight. Yep. No, they very much took advantage of the uh, rotating tower. Okay, so this is pretty much just a long climb back up, it feels like. Pretty much. I don't think, like, this one, there's really a lot less to it than the other tower, where there's all the moving gears. And <laughs> So I got a flame breath, which really doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, I don't think I ever really used it. It's a cool boss fight, though. Yeah. I liked, I liked the design they did, because before you couldn't tell they even had arms. It looked like they were two snakes yeah, they were that had, like, open like... ribcage balls. Yeah. So, yeah, no, they did a good job with this one. So. And I got, I got messed up. Yeah, really helped to make a dynamic fight as far as them chasing you around it. And yeah. So, yeah, it was a cool little take on it. The only downside is then running all the way back up the tower. I guess actually technically you could have, uh, well, no, because you want to. I want the map. Yeah. So, like, he could have just ran back to the elevator. 
So this is, I imagine, where I defeated them, and then we fell to the bottom of the tower. Yep. Because you'll notice how there's a bunch of holes all on the floor now. So you can basically run through them and just plummet all the way down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at all this. Yeah. It's a nice quiet, and you can actually see the bridge in the background. Oh, yeah. It's a cool touch. I like that. Yeah. Well, this is a long climb. <laughs> yeah. It's a long climb of silence. But, I mean, look, that tower is essentially done now. Yeah, outside those two little squares. Dun. Ba, yeah. ba, ba. Probably would have been better if they put music for that long climb. <laughs> oh, I got that guy. Yeah. See? Yep. Shield. Nice. That was a nice, easy... It was like, one, two, dead. I know. Because you were able to get him while he was turned around. I only need to kill one more of them. Yeah. It's like, might as well. Since I know I can jump over them pretty quick. Yeah, and since they're only really in certain spots. There we go. So now I can take that back to, you know. They Let's... murdered me husband! You should probably... I was about to say save. Yeah, definitely save. Yeah, I don't want to do that boss fight again. No. They murdered me husband. And my cousin. <laughs> and like, all my friends. Every single neighbor I had. All of them. So I could just go back to the elevator and... Yep, ride it up and then just... Ride it up, yeah. They Keep made from... everyone I loved. Keep you from having to ride those gears all around. <laughs> Their items really do glitch into the... Yeah, it happens quite a bit. So it's a good thing they do at least have it to where you'll still get it. Yeah. Because, yeah... I just got my it. strawberries. Yep. You don't want to lose your strawberries. Woo. And up we go. Strike a pose. You I feel like we should go see the... You actually can strike a pose. I think that's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we need to go see... Um, Todd. And get my... Yeah. Hair done. It's a good call. I mean, he's got a lot of haircuts he's got to do, so I figure I'll help him out a little bit. This is true. I would also suggest talking to Odie. Yeah. At this point? Uh, you can finish whatever's over here. Because, yeah, it's just a room. <laughs> What's Odie got for me? He might have some information. Yeah. Lasagna? No. Like Garfield? Odie and Garfield? Yeah. That was a re Nobody in the comments got that reference. <laughs> Some old people might, uh, remember. <laughs> yeah! But, nah, he might have some information that'll be handy. I like, guess to where to go for the next boss. Yep. And he also, uh... At certain points, randomly, your lending limit increases. Oh, okay. So, it doesn't really tell you, it's just when you talk to him, it'll be like, I'll let you take out an extra book. <laughs> so, I can return the book... And then get a different book, and then come back and get a different book? Or uh, get the same book I did the first time? Uh, you can either keep the one you got equipped, and... I just don't want to piss him off. Uh, like I said, as long, like, pretty much for the whole game, he won't say nothing. I think it's basically just, like, before the end, like... It was, if you don't return true. them, then he'll have an issue with you. I don't know exactly how that plays out. I don't know. Yeah, so if you go straight down and to the left. We're making good progress. Yeah. It's been a while since I've gotten to make good progress in a game like this. <laughs> yeah. OD, you seem to know a lot. How does one board the train here in the castle? There's a train? Yeah, it was the area where the lilies were that was blocked off. There was a train in the background. Did not see that. That old thing. Why would you want to? Mm, because. You need credentials <laughs> Just because. to pass through the station gate. Oh! In the Tower of Evil? Yep. Okay. 
Really? Didn't even see the train. I was focused on the lilies. But Understandable. And when you said lilies, I thought you meant flowers. Oh. Uh -oh. So I'm like, what the fuck is David talking about? Flower? I don't remember their lilies. Now that I said yeah. lilies, are the bunny women. Yeah. The everything, sexy bunny women. It's like everything was burnt. Like, My there's what? no flowers here. Ah, that's right. Your kind hasn't invented photography yet. But if anyone has come close, it would be the church. If you know any... Yep, see? So now you can take out two at a time. Uh, I will gladly take strength. Strength and luck seem to be two good ones for me. Be certain to return what you borrow. Yep. And then at some point I'll let you take out three. I'm just like, spam B, spam yeah. B, spam B. Don't you go back to the blackness. Yep, so then the next one over will be Todd. Uh, this one. Yep. Which, I think I can go a little bit higher with double jump in this area. A little bit. A little bit. Um, there's a, another ability that'll really get you through a lot of this part of the castle. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. There's some sections that double jump will help, but yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, Todd. Wanna wanna do a new hairstyle? Yeah, level up, Todd. Oh, that's cute. Trying to decide. The bob is kind of cool. It works with the beret. Yeah. But I... Oh! I just really wanted to change my haircut and my colors. Not feeling the red anymore. Red was so last time. Let's go with the white hair. I like it. It's got some Alucard feels. Didn't really change anything. Yeah, it's just like a little darker, I think. Yeah. Oh, this is like black and white, and this is... I like this one better, honestly. Yeah, it's like black and yellow. And... <laughs> uh, I like the skin... Oh yeah, let's change her eye color. Oh, that's cool. Let's go with the icy blue. All right. As he chops your eye color. <laughs> yeah. Boom. She got some fresh looks, ready to, ready to take on the world. Where do I go now, David? Um, Cody just told you. You need a oh, the church. Then you got the silver bro. I do. So we'll pick this up in the next episode because we're good for now. Yeah, we'll uh, get our photograph and ride a train. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.